at parking garage. Our, the concept okay. is to park cars automatically depending on what color they are. They will be parked in different parking spots. So, for instance, if I have a black car coming down the conveyor, the driver will pull in right here. The car will move along the conveyor. Once it comes across this sensor right here, it will send a signal to my PLC telling which sequence to run. If it's a black car, it's going to run black sequence. If it's a white car, it's going to run white sequence. Different sequences decide which spot is going to park the car in. So this will be the designated parking spot for the black car. This will be for red, and so on. I'm going to have four different colored cars. And the other two cars, there will be no, no color. And the sensor will decide when the sensor will decide when the car is being detected that it's not stored. It's going to park in one of the visitor parking spots. The other four will be decided. And yeah, once it stores the car, you come, you park it, it's done. And if you want to retrieve it, you just go on the HMR, you select the proper car, which one you need, type in the code. It's going to have a different code for different parking spots so nobody else can take your car out. Tap in the code, it goes back, retrieves the car, and places it back right here. And it will go in a loop just so we don't have to interfere with the process. That's mainly what our process is going to be. So for this product, I was responsible for all the mechanical and fabrication aspects. Um, really? Yes. And uh, I did that through the help of Tintan. He did all the designs in the beginning. So when we first decided that we wanted to make an automated parking garage, I just did a couple of sketches, gave it to Tintan, make it more neater, and put it on SolidWorks. I was doing the most some challenges like the. Materials are not available for you. So we have to start up with the old uh, project as a reference point. So I made all these different parts separately, measured them carefully, and I attached them properly. And then I started uh, coloring them, and basically I was pretty much done before my deadline about the designing part. So I have something to show you over here. I want to see. At the end, I added some animation effect to it. This is the view from only from one side. So this is the it has all the different dimensions that the my main basically I'm doing the electrical part for mm -hmm. this project, but in the beginning uh, Danny needs help for, for his mechanical part, so I was helping him out taking all the measurements and uh, going downstairs and uh, making the holes, tapping everything and mounting zorgo cylinder. Uh, mounting uh, emergency stop button uh, on and out button, uh, mounting this plate, fixing the motor, making the holes in the uh, um, stainless steel, and mounting the sensor over here, taking the uh, measurement and mounting the sensor over here. And then after that, my next step was to make a wiring diagram and show it to Hawaiian so uh, he can help me out if I made a mistake. So I came up with the wiring diagram and then we started to uh, wire stuff, but before that we have to move all the uh, uh, our material PLC to the uh, main station and then we mount it over there, fix everything and then um, uh, we started to wire everything and then uh, basically most of the wiring is done. We had some problems in troubleshooting, but like we figured it out some of the stuff. Now some of the stuff is still wet, so we were, we were like working it out. And basically, we, whenever we have problems, I, if I don't get it, I ask him, he helps me out, or we figure it out together. We got the PLC mounted. Uh, we don't have, we don't, we haven't been provided with the disconnect box yet, so we are running through a 120 volt supply. We got everything mounted, all the 24 volt supply. The mobile cylinder is fully connected and working. I'll show you a little display. All the PLC stuff is connected. The servo motor and the servo drive, we're still communicating them with each other. That's the only part of our project pretty much that's not done yet. Everything else is working, everything else is running. We are kind of on the right track. And we're more than 80% done. Servo motor is pretty much our major concern. All the pneumatic stuff is done. All, we got a new pneumatic box. Got everything plugged in, got it all electrically connected, got it all pneumatically connected. Got the wires running properly everywhere. Got most of, pretty much all the wiring done, completed. And programming is what I'm currently working on, which is almost done. Okay, I'll show you a little display of what I've done so far. I'll show you, try to move this from here to one of the farthest corner parking lots. First thing we turn on is so it goes underneath the car. The next step, 